I'm going to attempt to put this one right here on the ground, except for it's on Lucky's fence. You can see how mad he is just because it's leaning right here. <laughs> Hello, goat lovers. This is Crystal with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. What started with four chickens and two goats quickly grew into a lifestyle. So we moved, got more land, and of course, more goats. Follow our adventures as we grow our herd, our food, and our family. Buenos dias, goat lovers. It's another bright and sunny day here in Arizona. It's supposed to get up to 80 degrees. I've got the day off, but don't worry. Crystal's left me a list, so I won't be just sitting around having fun. First thing on the list, let's go get more hay. Be right back. You be good, Merle. You be good, buddy. So it's the first time I'm leaving with a buck outside grazing. It's Merle. He's been being pretty good with it, but let's hope nothing bad happens. I have a automatic gate opener. Whenever I pull up to the gate, I just get out and open it automatically. Good boy, Merle. Good goats. So I'm back from getting hay, so now it's to the honey-do list. Okay, so what I need to do today is build a couple of food troughs like this one. They don't need to be this big, but I need one for all the other pens. Because currently, since we've been breeding, I've just been throwing their pellets in a pan and uh, you know but they move the pan around and knock it over and they're just wasteful goats are really wasteful with their food so you can see the goat just walked in it they like to walk on their food so some of you saw like with the alfalfa I just threw it on the ground there I don't throw it in the same spot every day and a lot of times I throw some on top for the you know, so the goats can have it in a couple of different places so they don't fight over it as much. This is what works for us in our environment. It's really dry here. For instance, this is the San Pedro River. Can anybody tell what's different about this river? We just don't have trouble with parasites and stuff like other people do in other parts of the country. This is what works for us. So it might not work in your area, but this is what works for us. I have built the hay feeders before. The goats always climb in them. They always find a way to get in there, poop in it, pee in it, and then it's hard for you to even clean out. Unless your goat is suspended in midair, like one of those things they use to you know, lift the dolphin into the back of the box truck. Unless your goat's suspended in something like that, your goat's eating off the ground. Some people have those blue barrels with a slot cut out where the goat can stick its head in and then put its head down and eat. That way they don't lose any food, you know, when they pull their head back out. The problem with some of those is, is your, your goat's going to get hurt getting rammed in the side by all the other goats. The, all the other goats are going to be like, hurry up, move. So we, we don't do that. Plus, I don't want 25 blue barrels everywhere and, and, and throwing feed in 25 different places. You know, we this is a working ranch. We've got things to do. We have jobs. You know, we're trying to get our chores done and get on about the day. So this is what works for us. It may not work for you in your area.
So this is the junk wood, it's recycled stuff. We repurpose everything. We don't we normally never go to the hardware store and just start buying new stuff. If there's scrap wood somewhere or something I can reuse something, that's what I do. So I'm gonna make three feeder troughs out of this stuff. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. So my shortest piece right there. I'm gonna mark that with a scratch. That right there, make sure it's pretty flush. Mark it with a scratch. You're gonna protect yourself when you're using saws. You want eye protection and ear protection. For ear protection, I like earmuffs. I normally uh, turn it on country music to start until they play a Carrie Underwood song. Then I switch over to the rock and roll channel until they play some new weird stuff and then I switch back switch back to the country song and hope that Carrie Underwood's not on So this piece is going to be the bottom of my trough and I'm just going to go ahead and pre-drill it in a bunch of, in a few spots real quick. Now I'm going to go ahead and screw this uh, bottom onto the sides. Now the other side. That's my trough. Seems easy enough, right? You dump the pellets in there. So, I don't want the thing just sitting on the ground though. So, I'm all out of bricks, but I have a bunch of these six by six timbers. Enough of these boogers right here to go ahead and make something for it to set on so now we'll do that Right, so should set something like so. Just gonna put a few screws in there and there to hold it. So, make 
sure it's flush back there. To pre drill it, pre -drill everything put four in there, make sure that one's flushish. Four of them in there, that did not happen. That didn't either. Now, a couple of those didn't sink, so I got some longer ones, some two and a half, I'll throw them in. Now that hit something. One more just for good measure. And since we got them, We'll do the same thing down here. Oh, look at the what you're doing, not the camera. Huh? All right, so that is a trough for alfalfa pellets for goats out of recycled wood. So we've got all three of them built. Let's go mount them in their pins. Oh. Love having a little ranch truck. I bought this 96 Isuzu Ombre for 500 bucks back when uh, our oldest daughter, who's 19, I just turned 15. It was for her 15th birthday. Spin you around. Do -si do Now I'm just gonna tie this booger to this fence in a good spot where I could just pour the feed right over in the morning and move on. There we go, a trough for pellets or grain uh, made out of recycled wood. It's setting on some six by sixes that were just left over. It's wired to the fence. Easy peasy. You guys like it? There you go. Havoline's already getting the hang of it. There's always a goat standing in the in one in the other one. What do you think, Mayo? I'm gonna attempt to put this one right here on the ground, except for it's on Lucky's fence. You can see how mad he is just because it's leaning right here. <laughs> so this should get fun. Oh, don't touch me like it. Oh. Don't break it, Luggy. Don't! Luggy! You broke it. Great. Oh. 
lagi nak. Nah. Lucky no. All right, maybe he'll stop. There we go. All five of the breeding pens have a trough now. I'm not going to build one for the weathers just because we're not supposed to have any weathers and I have a big pan that I was using for Everest's pen and I'll give that to them. So that's gross. Lucky's peeing on himself. How's it goating, guys? Cassie. A little bitter. Blue cactus, red dawn, and Merle. Oh, champ. Well, that was fun. I still got to clean Merle's pin before I put him back in there. So I'm going to put this camera down, get busy, shoveling crap, piling it up. Thanks for watching.